Hi folks, Harry Frank from Gray Machine here with a quick tip on baking textures in Cinema 4D to get them into Element 3D. Now sometimes you have a fairly complex model that has lots of different texture maps that are either applied to UV selections or in this case I have a large uh, collection of polygons that go together to form one big object and they're all textured a little bit differently. Now, I could bring this over into Element and replace all of these manually, or I could just bake all of this stuff into one texture map and map that texture map into Element. We just have to do it using the Bake Object function right here under Objects, Bake Object. And what this is going to do is allow us to create a single texture that will match the UVs of the object perfectly. So if I say Bake Object and make sure I have the whole group selected, not just one uh, polygon. So select the entire group and we'll make a single texture. We can also add ambient occlusion or normals if you care. Um, I'll do the single texture and ambient occlusion. So that's going to give me a color map and an ambient occlusion map, which I'll apply separately. You'll want to raise the resolution from the default 512 to something at least 1024 or even 2048 by 2048. Texture maps like this are generally square in shape and are multiples of 8. Uh, from what I understand, that's what graphics cards like to see. Uh, I haven't experimented to see if Element can work with non-square texture maps uh, flawlessly, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it. I know this works. Uh, you are also going to want to change the default setting of TIFF to something else like PNG. And uh, you want to do that because Element does not work with TIFF. I also want to define a place to write your texture map. So I'm just going to write these to the desktop. Hopefully you pick a better place uh, that is a little more organized than writing to your desktop. But from there, we'll just select Bake. And we're going to go through and bake, bake, bake. Now you're going to want to wait. Don't go and jump from Cinema 4D just yet because this is actually going to make a duplicate of this and that duplicate is the one that is going to have the matching UVs. So if you do this too quickly and don't save, it's not going to work and it's going to be all screwed up. So wait, sorry that's my email, wait, 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 and there we go. So there's the duplicate, now I want to save. Now all of these textures are going to have uh, basically um, they're going to be mapped to the surface of this object as one material with the UVs aligning just perfectly. So let's go to After Effects here. Uh, I've got my solid, I've got my comp, I've got my camera. All I need to do is go into my scene setup, import that Cinema 4D file. I'll go to my Cinema 4D projects here. This is the Cinema 4D right here, Coke underscore machine, not Coke machine. Um, and let's import that. And there's our Coke machine untextured. Now, all of these should be mapped to the entire surface. That's what it did. It basically just made a duplicate and all the materials are mapped to the entire surface of the uh, drink machine. So if I change the color, I should change the color of the whole surface. So I'm gonna go to the diffuse channel here, click on load texture, go to the desktop and load that color map in. And there we go, it's mapped. Even though it looks all chopped up here, it actually maps perfectly to our drink machine. I'm going to go down to Occlusion, click on that, go to Load Texture, my desktop, and load in the Occlusion map too. And it gives us nice little shadowy areas where corners and edges meet up. So let's click on OK and OK. And now we have our nice 3D model loaded inside After Effects. And it works so incredibly fast, it's amazing. It'll react to lights and camera moves and all that kind of stuff. And hey, there's this handy new feature where you can go to your group utilities, go to create null, and now you can animate your object using a null like that. Awesome. Great idea. So anyway, my name is Harry Frank. I hope you learned something from this, and I thank you so much for watching.